Hi guys, welcome back to Estella Wilson Creations. I am back with a Dollar Tree haul. I have a lot of the stuff to show you. So let's just get started with this haul. I got a lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff in the beginning and then some crafting stuff and a few puzzles. So if that is something you're interested in, just keep on watching. So the first item we're gonna go over is the Kiss Me I'm Irish window clings. You guys know I love window clings and these little leprechauns look how cute they look so i'm glad that um dollar tree came out with some new wording and some new images this year because last year and the year before they used the same images so super excited about that the leprechauns made me do it where iris is a part of my charm so it says where iris sarcas sarcasm is a part of my charm pinch me um, but anyway, I think this is really, really cute. You're going to get 22 pieces in this one. Oh, that lighting is so good. Okay, the next one I got is this one, 21 pieces. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Lucky. Lucky and I, Gnome It. Kiss Me, I'm Irish. But again, look at the little gnomes. They're so cute. They're different than last year. So I picked this one up. And my favorite of all the window clings this year is, of course, the truck. They got the green truck over here. You're only going to get 12 pieces in this one, but I did get two. Loving the plaid behind here. And I really think this is going to be good for some DIY. So I did pick up two of those. And this green, yeah, so cute. So I got those as far as window clings. Okay, and then I picked up some signs. So I picked up two of these signs, but I got this one first. Um, I'm going to show you like the wood grain in it. Um, it says lucky and it's really large. So, but I picked this one up. Um, I didn't know if I was going to DIY this one or not because I got that one and then I did get this one. And then this one says welcome. And I know I'm going to leave this one as is, but. You can see that up close and then how it looks. Welcome. So this one I'm going to leave as is. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do something else to this one. But I picked up both of them just in case. I don't have too, like a lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff. So I did pick those up. And then I only picked up one sign, which I believe it's new this year. It's this welcome sign. And it's so cute with the little feet and the little um, pot of gold. It's so cute. I love this one. So I did pick this up. Um, I don't I don't think they had this last year. Definitely not in my store. So I did pick that up as well. Okay. Um, as far as St. Patrick's Day, I did get two of these. I think I've had these before. But um, they say luck. So L-U-C-K. And then I did get this one. I wish they had like all white ones or they came out with all white picks, but neither, um, neither the less, neither the less. And you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to use these on some DIY. So, um, around the house. So I got those and then I did pick up this foam, um, um, pot of gold, uh, cauldron because I think this is new this year. How many pieces did you get in there? 12 pieces in there and then I did pick these up because I don't think I have any more of these I might have used these at work last year so you're gonna get 12 of them and then that's it for the St. Patrick stuff so far um, then as far as planning stuff I picked up two of these pouches of the blue and they have the like uh, pineapple stuff on there so you're gonna get the pineapple the note card the note paper and the note cards and you're going to get these blue, um, what do you call these, uh, pockets, envelopes. And that's really what I got them for. And, I mean, I guess the goodies inside is a plus as well. So you got that. And then I get, get the black one. Um, and then this is the image you get inside. And then the envelopes. So I got that. And then I did pick up the uh, happy planners, the dupes. So I got two of these happy planners. Um, I want to redo the covers. Um, I'm going to make 
my own covers or something I don't know I'm gonna change it out maybe put a cover or a sticker or something on them um, this one has pink paper so I was considering moving or red paper I was considering moving these papers to to this to these so those are like floral and then they have these but these have black paper so I was actually thinking of switching that um, so that the Valentine's will have the red pa paper in there uh, but I'm going to have to see about what I'm going to do. But these are so cute. So I did pick up two of these. Oh, actually I picked up three uh, of these. Usually I like to keep I, the ones I really like. I'm going to keep one for myself. Otherwise, I'm just going to um, sell these. I'm going to alter them and then sell them. Um, so I'll be selling two of these and keeping one of these. Probably selling both of those once I get to it. Um, these are the llamas and they have blue rings and the paper inside is green um so maybe this would be good to change up i don't know what to do with them but i don't know the paper's green not really sure about that i mean maybe this paper would be good for saint patrick's day i i don't know so i got those or christmas but then the rings have to be something different so you can move things around alter them however you want and then this is another one i really really like and i don't know what it does it say tis oh it says it's the little things in life it's pink but this has like orange paper again like that may be good for like halloween but this cover is so cute so you can use the cover on something else so maybe these covers on I don't know but I don't think that cover goes with that I don't know you have to figure out how you want to move them. but these are all my mini happy planners that I picked up super happy that I was able to haul them they're so cute um, and I was like waiting for them to come to my store I'm loving all of the little heart um, rings and this is just so cute and if you can't afford a happy planner or a mini happy planner this is a great alternative. So adorable. So I got all of those. And then the last item I got was two puzzles. I don't know if you guys remember Bob Ross, but my mom used to watch um, him and his paintings on the TV all the time. And us kids used to watch them with her. And anyway, his puzzles came to the Dollar Tree. And I'm loving some of these um, landscape scen scenery um, art works that he's done so i did buy this puzzle 300 pieces and then i did buy this one because i like the little you guys see i feel like i want to be serene but i like the bridge there and i just really 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 like these two so that's going to be it for the dollar tree haul i hope you enjoyed the saint patrick's day um stuff and the planner stuff let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite item i haul today and i'll see you in the next video bye